Alright. We are headed out. I think it's looking kind of misty out there. Don't know for sure. But um, maybe that is rain. It was just, no, that's mist. It's funny. Um, anyway, that's good. Keep testing different places for this uh, camera. I think it's good where it is. Right now it's sort of right at my Adam's apple. And I don't want it to pick up my breathing so much. But it seems to be positioned well. I guess I could put it over to the side more. Anyway, enough about the camera. Here I go. I had an interview with a uh, young man today. Young man. He's uh, 20. Uh, soon to be 21. Uh, and oh, let me get out on the street here. <coughs> Ruth is his name. This is a uh, young man I've talked about before in various places. Um, really interesting that he is coming to school. He's uh, finished his regents exam, finished all of his credits except for maybe a, an elective. We're just trying to hold on to him actually. He has nowhere to go work. So he, he appreciates being able to come to the school to do the work that he does. He asks the situation we're in. Anyway, I interviewed him, but uh, didn't have the camera in the right place. And it's okay. I think it's like a, a first interview, so I want to do it again and see how it goes. But he arrived at school about 10.30 today and left about... I just left 3.30. And he worked that entire time. I asked him if he's working in English or Spanish. And that was a really interesting thing. This young man uh, manages a couple of websites for a rap artist here in New York, Sonsado. Uh, who's uh, not known in Dominican rap circles. <laughs> so, hanging out these days with Pitbull. So he's looking to to go somewhere. And uh, Ruth manages their YouTube channel, manages their Twitter account, Manages their Facebook account. Manages uh, a WordPress press blog or two for them. And he writes for them. Uh, I asked him if he did it in English or Spanish. Sorry, I have to talk. Those guys thought I was crazy that I was talking. <laughs> so, um... I am probably... <laughs> Hey, Ruth is such an interesting guy. When I met him two years ago, all I wanted to do was do this kind of work. And it was you know, a matter of negotiating with him constantly about how much of that work can you do and how much school work can you do. I think I helped him a lot become a more confident writer, more able. In the uh, conversation with him, he said that he 
learned to write two different ways. One was by posting on this website constantly, every day, more than once sometimes, in Spanish and in English. And he talked about a friend pointing out how important it was to have things accurate and correct on the website. Now, hello. But interesting, it's his website, you know? So, I think he cares a lot more about accuracy on that than he does on his voices, of course. But uh, his voices does other things, I think, for him. Uh, so that's where he learned correctness there, and would teachers help you say? He claims he gets paid for this. I'm not sure how much they pay him though. I hope they do. I think they do sometimes. <laughs> kind of a crew that he works with to promote. So here's rap stars, music, makes all sorts of connections. It's just kind of if somebody could describe the literacy that he does during the five hours that he's working on this all day. I think we'd be pretty impressed. It'd be interesting to see what's missing still, perhaps. But uh, he wants to go to college to study this. And I don't know if anybody has helped him figure out how to do that. So I think I need to help him do this. Come on. Yeah. Fascinating young man. So, that was interesting to talk to him and been interesting over the past several days to watch him after his regents exam and he passed his writing exam. I don't know all the details. He, um, he's done. He, um, kind of relaxed back into this work that he loves to do and is good at. Gets a lot of props in his community for it. And, uh, feels a lot of ownership over it. Blended learning, you got it. <laughs> so it happens. You know, I think there was a... something we did uh, unused voices and in the kinds of inquiries that we asked him to do that gave him the skills to do the other work in some way. Um, they, and they don't have to be the same, you know. It's one of the things I'm feeling more and more strongly about is there's nothing wrong with separate spaces. In fact, why would I want to mess around in his his workspace? You know, so ah, it's warming up a little bit here. So we should have a pretty easy run home. What else is on my mind? Ruth was certainly on my mind, and I'm looking forward to doing that. You know, I tried to capture his screen. And you know, before he comes in tomorrow, I think I'll set that up so that that works. 
that way for him because I want to I want to measure what he does and of course I don't really want to measure it what I want to do is document it and uh, and talk about what kinds of literacies I see him developing over time and in, in specific, specifically uh, one day in the life of, of Ruth Um, so yeah, there's a little project to do, isn't it? And I guess the question is, how can we give more kids the space that I've been able to give Ruth? And, uh, in a more traditional classroom setting with, you know, 24, 30 students. Now, probably the answer is you can't. And you shouldn't try to. But, uh, you know, schools have responsibilities for certain numbers of students. And they have to deal with them all. So that's the question. How do you scale for the individual to use that language? while also taking care of everybody. Oh, I ran out in front of that I did run out in front of that one. That's okay. Okay. But I, uh, have been invited to be part of a planning team. And I'm hoping it will lead to a job at a school where I can be happy. It's a school for software design, uh, the shorthand of it. Barnes Academy for Software Design and Media or something to that effect. And uh, I'm way interested in those topics. I think young people are. Now, gaming comes to mind right away, and you know, software design. What's that mean? We're not going to be building um, another word program, you know, or something. We're going to be building apps and managing websites. They're going to be doing with what. Uh, Ruth does. That should be the case. I should be able to hire Ruth. Because in some sense he is, isn't he, the graduate that we would hope for out of the Bronx School for uh, Software Design and Media. I don't know if that's the exact name. <laughs> meeting with new principal Ben and the guy he's planning with on uh, Friday. Hope it goes well. Hope I like the place. Hope I like Ben. Um, hope I can be clear and, and don't Seem too frightening to them. <laughs> so That's uh, more like how's going on, on the student front and on the uh, professional front, I guess.